Okay guys, so here we go. I've got everything out here for the uh, seat belts. And of course we have this little photo etch kit. I've actually cut some of the parts out of it. As you can see here, I'll grab them with the tweezers. Things are tiny. Little, uh, oops, here we go. Little photo etch uh, buckles that we're going to use. They are very tiny. Um, in fact, the camera's even having a hard time picking it up. But anyways, these little pieces here have to be looped through this ribbon you see here. So what we got to do is basically go ahead and cut the, the pieces of the strips of the, uh, the seatbelt material that came with the Tuner Model Factory uh, seatbelt kit and go ahead, cut them in three millimeter strips is what we got to do. And I kind of gauge it when it comes to the length. I just gauge by, by eye what I want to do. And I've already cut some of these pieces up, as you can see here. And these pieces right here, these two pieces that are smaller, are the ones that are going on the top part of the seatbelt. They go through the top loop on the seatbelt photo wedge buckle. These are the adjusters, basically, that the uh, straps have for the shoulder harnesses. Is what these little photo wedge pieces are that I've shown you here. We'll get to the other pieces in a bit. Um, so basically what I'm going to do is take this little uh, upper shoulder harness... I'm going to pull the adhesive off of it. So what's nice about this little kit is that these uh, these seat belts are adhesive backed and they have like a, a sticky substance on the back side which means that it will adhere to the seat nicely. Let's get this off of here. Sometimes it can be a pain in the butt. Alright, now we go. Now what I'm going to do carefully with my tweezers here is thread it through. I have a little, uh, this, the, the kit comes with a little like illustration piece that you can use. So we are going to use this to make sure that we get it we get it lined up the way it needs to and looks the way the uh, instructions tell you to do it. This is the fun part. It's very very delicate. But What we're going to do is we're actually going to put this seat belt loop it through the top loop on this photo etch buckle. So we'll stick this down here. Grab the next one. Same thing, we're going to unthread this. Ooh, this one came off nice and easy. I'm going to take the other piece. And we're going to thread it through carefully here. As careful as we can. Ooh, is it fun. There we go. This one went through a little better. And you'll notice when you start doing these, you get better at them. That loops around and sticks to there. So, upper part of the belts are done. There you go, see? Just like that. They're the ones that will wrap around the top part of the seat. Now, you can put little photo etch. They give you little, little uh, clasps to put on the ends of these which is what actually bolts to the back of the seat. These won't, but they won't be visible on this car, the way this seat is designed. They actually disappear under the seat rest behind the seat that I can see in the photos of the, of the real car that I've looked at. So we're just going to glue them in place, or not glue them, but actually stick them in place, and these will just disappear into the little slot inside the seat back. And you'll see all that when I do the final assembly and you see the seat belts all done. So we're going to put these down here. And our next step that I want to do is to get take my little illustration here I'm, I'm kinda I'm not really looking at all these here honestly guys I'm looking at this one right here this is what I want to see because if I can omit some of these steps because you're not gonna really see it I'm looking for the overall effect of how this is gonna look when you look down in there you'll see a seat belt which beats the heck out of the decals that come with the Ebro kit so that's what we're aiming for so we've got these pieces right here done and now these pieces have to be done. As you can see, they have little flaps that hang out. So I made, that's why I made these here, these two a little longer, so that they'll they'll still go up in and slide around and, and just and just stick in place. Okay. So now the next step is to get those threaded in. So what we're gonna do is again we're gonna pull this off, this adhesive piece, off of here, 
And so far it looks pretty convincing. Okay, that's, that's how it should look. Now what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to take a small piece of maybe about that length, which is what I've cut off there. And I'm literally, see, these belts, you can make the illusion look like they're all connected, but you can put it together in separate pieces. And that's what I prefer to do to give me the look I'm after. So what I can do now is take this adhesive off of this small, tiny piece. And then what we're going to do is take this, this tiny little seatbelt piece, and then you slip it underneath the edge of this photo etch right here. And it looks like it's going through and the excess is right there. Hopefully you guys, you guys can all see that nicely. Okay? Now this is actually going to go right against the seat. Now let's see how this is going to look. We're going to grab our seat and we're going to put it in here just to see how it's going to look. This will stick down nicely. Against the edge there. And that gives you an idea of how cool it will look inside there. Hopefully you guys can all see that. Now I'm going to do another one just like that and put it on the other side. So let me let me get that one built up a little bit. You've seen how I built this one. I'm going to build the next one the exact same way. I just don't want to burn too much time on this video. I want you to keep it short and sweet, but to the point and informative for you guys. I'm going to build one up like this real quick, and I'll be right back to show you how it looks. Okay, so I've done the other seatbelt. Got it all together, and I've actually assembled those into the uh, inside of the, the seat here. Now, again, I apologize, guys. I, I didn't sit here and just toil with them on video because it would have been very boring for you. As you know, seatbelts aren't easy to do. But man, do they make a huge difference. So those are your upper belts. Now I'm going with a simplistic look on this because I want to be able to, to just look inside the cockpit of this model and see these seat belts sitting here. Again, better than the decals. So I've got my upper belts done. They look three-dimensional. They're perfect. They've got a nice uh, pattern on them, as you can see. That, that's, that's just a, a hats off to the model uh, to tuner model factory uh, seat belt material that these are made out of, which have a texture to them, just like the real belts. Now the next step is, and I've already kind of pre-done this, is I, I took the photo etch sheet and again I told you I wasn't going to use the clasp that was already built in. That's this one here. I will use it eventually because it gives you enough photo etch on this sheet to do two belts. Although there's plenty of material to do more than that. But the, the problem is I don't like the, the uh, clasp closed. It just doesn't look that good in the car unless you got a, a driver in there in my opinion. So I went with the open one. The open one is consists of a bunch of photo etch pieces that you stack together. And that's what's off this sheet right here. So that's what I did on this belt right here. Is I stacked all those together and it gives it it gives a dimension as you can see the side of the belt has a nice even has the holes where the slots would go in or the or the clips or clasps of the seat belts. These were done. These are going to sit inside on the on the bottom uh, butt area of the of the seat on the edges and it doesn't matter if these don't go through a slot or anything I think on the real car they they do but you're not gonna see it so that's why I just I want the impression that the seat belts are there and that's what I'm getting with this so I've done this one here and I went ahead and did the other side which is this one here which is just a normal clasp like the two upper ones for the shoulder harnesses so they're all ready to go now to, to make these look a little bit better or look like they have extra slack hanging out of them. I did that same trick that I did with the upper shoulder belts using this guy right here. Another short piece. Let's get the uh, adhesive out of here, or the uh, the backing for the adhesive out of here with a sharp exacto knife. There we go. Come on. Perfect. Pull the backing off, this little backing, throw that to the side. And then there's a piece of hair there. Now I'm going to take the belt on my X-Acto knife just like this. And I'm going to bring it over here to my little tiny belt here. And I'm going to proceed to put it right here on the edge at an angle to look like it's kind of been pulled out 
of the clasp. So it looks like the excess belt material that would be on a real clasp that's there. That gives me the look I want. So now what we're going to do is kind of test this and just kind of stick it in a seat and see how it looks. Again, I'm just going to stick it right here in the corner. Actually, I'm going to cut some of this because it's way too long. Okay, we don't need that piece there. Get that out of the way. And I'm going to take my little belt. Sharp exacto exact knives are great for this kind of stuff, picking things up most of the time. And I'm going to sit it in place and see how it looks. We're going to put one here. Right there. there. See how that kind of sits in there? And just looks the part. It's all I want. Same thing with the other side. I'm going to cut this piece off short. As you can see right there. Get that out of the way. Stabber, and I'm going to put it up in place here. Now you see it's 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 simple. Now the crotch strap, sometimes it has dual ones that go over the legs to tighten the legs. I'm going to give you the impression that they're kind of sitting on the floor of the car inside. I'm not going to worry about putting those in. I just want the look here that I've got. Now the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take the kit decals of the seat belts. Here's your kit seat belts. Pretty simplistic, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these little white areas out because the real car has those inside the belts and I'm going to apply them to these lower areas right here. There they are. And I'm going to get some Solvacet a little micro scale solver set here. And with a clean brush, we're going to wet the area where these need to go. Let it. And we're going to take our X Acto knife here and just stick it on there and apply it right to the car. Uh, you might need to use the tweezers to get it off your X Acto knife, of course. So we're going to do that real quick and put it in position. There we go. This one the same way. Slide it off the decal sheet with the X-Acto knife. Doom. Put it right there. And we're going to use the tweezers to blot it down a little bit. So what do you think? Big difference having these or just having this sitting inside there. So you be the judge there. Again, it makes a big difference. And you notice the crotch straps that this has? I did not add those. I just left them off. The way my car is, they're hanging off the bottom of the seat or disappeared. You're not going to see them when you look in there. The main thing you're going to see is the top edge of these belts here and the detail on the buckles, the lower buckles. You'll see the clasp inside there, the actual quick release uh, lever and all that makes a perfect perfect representation of the seatbelts in my humble opinion. So again, thanks for watching on this video. Um, the next step of the video will be basically the car being assembled. So thanks for watching and tune in next time.